Y'all, meet 17-year-old Drew Garner. He is a hero. Ow! We need a hero, and we got one. And y'all, how about KFC allegedly fire him because he was a hero? Let me take you back. A few days ago, I brought you the story of this man who allegedly pow pow his co-worker in the head. It's a whole love triangle. Another co-worker was pregnant with his baby. The other man had already had babies by the woman. It's a whole mess. But let me tell you how Drew comes into play. 17-year-old Drew, 17-year-old Drew is at work, you know, working, and he sees the man with the wound in his head. What does this young man do? He jumps into action. He grabs paper towels. He tries to apply pressure to the wound. He saved this man's life, y'all. He is a whole hero. He did what most grown people wouldn't do. And of course, what does he do? Tell us about it. He spreads the good news, okay? The news come to him and he's excited and he's telling them what happened and they're interviewing his family and the family is just thankful that not only that Drew was a hero, but that it didn't happen to him. Because can you imagine how scared you would be if your child is at work and you hear this happening at work? This is Drew with his family. And let me also let you guys know, let me interject real quick. Now on Facebook and Instagram, I posted on Reels so you can find the story. It cuts off, so you're gonna have to go to my directly to my Instagram page, and it's the whole story is gonna be there, or to my YouTube. I am the Carolina Diamond on all platforms. Okay, now that I said that. When KFC realized that Drew spread the good news of what happened, even though we already saw a news story about it, <laughs> uh, they allegedly fired him for it, y'all. They let him go. They let him go. Instead of them reaching out to his mom to see what kind of counseling and help they can get him, because this is a traumatic event, because his mom said that Drew has autism and social barriers. Y'all, they didn't do any of that. They didn't do none of that. I, I really think the mom might need to see about suing they behinds because of this. But anyway, I reached out to the mom, y'all. She, and um, you know, I asked her for his cash app because you guys always ask me, D, you saw the GoFund, D, you need a cash app. So here's his cash app. This is the confirmed cash app that I got directly from his mom. It's not in his name. He is a minor, but his mom is Trisha Sears. And this is the cash app that she gave me under the name of Scott Sears. So anything that you would like to give, you can. I reached out to her, you guys. She didn't reach out to me. I saw the story. And because you all always ask me about cash app Vimco, Gunfo, um, Vimco GoFundMe, I want to go ahead and put it in this story. Also, she's going to see it and I'm sure she'll show it to Drew. So if you guys could please leave your comments let him know what a wonderful man and a wonderful human being i'm gonna play you the video but before i go let me also i have to tell you what kfc said kfc said that this is part of their franchise and that franchisees have the right to hire and fire um as they see fit and that they told kfc corporate office that he was still working there he ain't at work Oh, also, side note, love this, y'all. They're closed right now for sanitary reasons. They have been shut down by the health department. I love it. Ah, karma. After he provided first aid to one of his co-workers after he was shot in the head at a Beach Grove KFC. Well, two days later, he tells us his general manager let him go. Our Chase Howe sat back down with him to find out why he was punished rather than being rewarded. Chase? 17 year old Drew Gardner won't be working his shift Saturday at this KFC on South Emerson Avenue or anyone after that. For that matter, Gardner says he was fired after speaking out about his act of heroism after one of his co-workers was shot while on the job. It was just on Wednesday night when Drew Gardner was all smiles after potentially saving his co-workers life. Now he's sitting on his couch wondering why he no longer has a job. I was a bit bummed out because I considered most of those people, they're my friends. Then I feel like, I don't know, it just feel like a bit like a, a betrayal in a sense. It was at the KFC in Beach Grove where police say Gardner's colleague was shot in the head by a former employee Tuesday. And it wasn't until Thursday afternoon when Gardner's mom drove by the restaurant and saw that it had reopened. When I went uh, in there, I did approach her to talk privately in the back to kind of go over some things about what happened. She refused to go in the back. We had to do it 
in the lobby in front of customers. It did get heated between her and I. Answers or questions were not answered. It was that exchange between her and the general manager that led Sears to call police. The officer, after speaking with me and hearing everything that's going on and hearing that I'm Drew's mom and knowing about the shooting that happened, he did go inside to retrieve the paperwork for Drew's workman's comp. He came out, he said, unfortunately, she wanted me to communicate to you that your son is no longer needed here and this is considered trespassing for you. Although Gardner says he's disappointed that he was let go from his job, he believes he did the right thing. Like, I feel like a life is worth more than a job. So I'd rather lose my job than have him die. And at this hour, the KFC remains closed, but for different reasons. An employee here tells me they've been shut down just 24 hours after reopening by the Marion County Health Department for sanitary reasons. They do expect to reopen on Monday.